Hey guys, it's James the XD Man here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to take off the Springfield branded hate brake from your Springfield PDW. Uh, it's really simple to do. There's no magic involved with it. Uh, there's nothing uh, too groundbreaking about it. You see in the inside of the middle of the hate brake, they have the square socket in there. And what that's for is to use a socket extension, 3 8 size. Now, if you got the choice between a long one and a little shorty, always go with the shorty. If you use the long one and it's really torqued on there, it's going to act like a spring and not give you good purchase. So always try to use the shortest one possible. The next tool that you're going to want to have is a reaction rod, a barrel reaction rod, a spline rod, a bunch of different companies make it. They make them for 308 size ARs. They make them for 556 uh, sized ARs. So we're going to take the 556 one and we're going to put it in the trusty vise. The next thing you need is a big F vise and you want that bolted down so it's not going to go anywhere because you're going to be putting some pressure on there. So, we're going to go ahead and put our upper on the rod. Go ahead and take our socket extension, 3 8 size, again. And all we're going to do is put it right down the center of it. Let's take it off just to show you what I'm talking about. See? Not rocket science. So now... If this is really torqued on there, or your barrel nuts are really torqued on there, you're not putting pressure on this aluminum upper. You're putting all that pressure straight through in line with the barrel. That's always the smart thing to do. So, all right, we're going to take it, and <clears throat> that's it. I've never actually removed this hate break from this PDW, so we just got lucky, I guess. But... That's, that's the science behind it. Let's say you do have one that's really torqued down. Go ahead and take your propane tank, little propane torch, heat in the middle of the cone, because that's where the threads are, and I'll show you in a minute. Heat that up. Kind of nice. Now, you're not getting it to cherry hot or anything like that. Don't be ridiculous. You're just getting it hot, and what you're doing is just, just expanding it, that metal just a little bit, and the barrel's relatively cold. Uh, compared to what that breaks since we're putting that propane torch right on that cone. So let's go ahead and get this off. And the hate break comes in two pieces. So see how I can move that outer cone piece or that or shell and the cone in the middle. Make sure you're turning the cone or else you'll sit there and you'll turn that forever for days and days and it'll never come off. That just is a shell in this two-piece design. So I'll show you that in a second. Let's look down half by 28 threads, just like any other normal 556 AR. It's kind of deep in there. Uh, that's why they have the modified hate brake. The normal Maxim Defense hate brake uh, is kind of fat all the way. So they got this step portion right there. So it tucks nice inside the handguard, make a cleaner, nicer fit. By the way, when you go to tighten this down, because this is independent, you can match up the flats to match up with the handguard exactly. They did that on purpose, by the way. So now, when we look at the two pieces, that's it right there. There's no mechanical locking system. There's nothing like that. If you look, it's got a little cone piece. It's got a cone piece that fits in there. That means they make together real nice. And basically, it creates a little blast chamber in here that the gas come in here. And, uh, you know, that's it. No magic. Put it back on. I'm just going to take both pieces. And... Retighten them. On this system, there's no uh, 
locking mechanism. You're just going to make it tight. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it down on our barrel rod, lock it down. And what I'm going to do is time our outer shell. Nope, went too far on that timing. This is where you could take a couple seconds and be extra nice and neat. So I'm gonna show you something. What I did was time this and put it about halfway in between one of the flats on the hand guards right there. Because when you turn this and it starts to lock it down, the whole unit's gonna wanna move. So I wanna end up where it's flat. So let's go about right there on that half. Put her back in there. That's timed. And you don't wanna kill it when you put it on there. That ain't going nowhere, and our flats are timed. How about that? She looks nice and neat. And that's how you take your uh, Springfield uh, branded hate brake off your PDW. That simple, there's no magic, there's no Loctite in there, there's no mechanical thing holding it all together. Not magic, just simple engineering. See you guys.